Well, when we look at uh, content marketing as to how it looked five years back also and now how it looks like, um, if anything it has become sharper, if anything has to be uh, said about the context and the medium, uh, it is much more uh, thought through. So for example, um, now we are uh, making our um, content much more relevant to somebody who is wanting to actually consume the content in a vernacular uh, language. So five years back also uh, the thought in, ma in our head as a marketeer would not be like okay let's give this con uh, content in a vernacular language for the consumption to go up. Uh, primarily of course because it entails several processes but now it has become way more um, way more sharper and way more uh, customized for the uh, person who's consuming it um, so uh, when we get data like you know the consumption of these vernacular medium is uh, is way higher than what we were actually um, producing our content in it gives us the thought through that uh, five years back what we're doing and now what we are doing has actually uh, given us a much more synchronized approach on how we are developing content no not at all and I don't think it will ever go out of uh, style or ever go out of context uh, because um, this is the, the traditional marketing over here is uh, there to stay on in a long run uh, however much we say do and push content on digital medium uh, the consumption still happens on the uh, traditional medium and the skewance towards this is still exceptionally high um, while uh, the uh, the the smaller towns and cities are consuming digital uh, con content far uh, more um, than what it was say for example three or four years back also uh, we cannot overlook the impact that a traditional medium had or has currently also so it's here to stay and uh, there is uh, no way the traditional uh, marketing is going to go out of style look at um, how we um, as, as 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 a discussion we were actually mentioning this uh, look at the uh, the how how the online marketplaces um, brands also behave at the end of the day it's the traditional marketing approach that they take when they have to push a campaign ahead so it's it's very uh, here to stay for a really long time yeah it never has a formula to how a uh, content is created it ap actually depends upon what is the objective of a certain campaign that we are looking for so it can vary from a uh, brand building to a business preparation so taking an example of what we usually um, created during something like a world shorts day a campaign that we did um, we had a business objective very clear in our mind that shorts as a as a product had never been spoken about and this is the business objective that we had to achieve out of the entire uh, content creation that we had to do on in this in this campaign the idea was to create a lot of noise using influencers and the content had to be very relevant it had to speak to a young customer not only young in age a customer who is young at heart so you might be 40 but you still um, uh, wanting to uh, be seen around in shorts and that's exactly the what the campaign did the content was created in such a way and the medium chosen were in in such sharp medium that it reached out to the perfect TG that we wanting to reach out and the numbers spoke for themselves we actually had approximately 120 percent sales jump week on week for the same after the same campaign so there's so much to talk about it then <laughs>